Ken Trahan along with Lenny Van Gilder. It's our first NBC Bank weekend preview brought to you by First NBC Bank with 35 locations throughout southeast Louisiana and the Florida Panhandle. That's First NBC Bank, proud sponsor of SportsNola.com. It has been a whirlwind week for the New Orleans Pelicans. First, Anthony Davis agreeing to the five-year, $145 million extension, which will keep him in New Orleans through at least 2020, possibly through 2021. Starting there, Lenny, a very positive development. A great move, I think, by Anthony Davis. A smart move by Anthony Davis. And obviously a smart move by the Pelicans. All all thumbs up all the way around, no doubt about it. And the fact that he did this right away, uh, didn't let this thing drag out. He didn't have to agree to this deal until the opening day of the season this year. That that's that's your time window to get this done. And you know, he'll officially sign it on the tenth and all will be well where that is concerned. Now the question becomes what are you going to put around him? And they've started to at least address re-signing guys uh, for this coming season as well. And then, of course, Omar Ashik agreeing to terms apparently as well. Widespread reports where that's concerned. So did Alexi Agensa. So both centers, it appears, will be back for the coming season. And when you look at Tyreek Evans and Drew Holiday and Ryan Anderson being under contract, uh, the real possibility they've made a qualifying offer to Norris Cole and a good chance they'll bring Quincy Pondexter back. Uh, it really conjures up the line to me, uh, we're bringing the band back. I mean, they're basically keeping the band together. They're basically telling you, we think we've got a good enough roster to win with, with maybe one addition to be made somewhere. Yeah, let's see what else may change. Is you know, it's, it's, it's not really the status quo in that you got a very big change at the first seat on the bench there in Alvin Gentry. So uh, if they feel like what they had last year, when healthy, is good enough, and that's the key, uh, you know, parenthetical phrase, and that is when healthy. If that is good enough, and obviously the times that we've seen this entire team on the floor together over the last couple of years, it's been very solid. Uh, them, you know, you I guess you take that chance, and if you can find a way to add a bit piece here or there, look what Dell Dems did during the course of the the 2014-15 season to try to make this roster better was was certainly some very good moves. And if he, if he can manage to make here in the course of the free agency period leading up to the, the start of the season, one or two of those types of uh, moves that would seem to be very uh, small but could be very large when you look at the big picture, then uh, you know let's see how it plays out. Interesting times indeed for the New Orleans Pelicans. New Orleans Zephyrs, well, you're getting close to the All-Star break now, and it's been an interesting time. Of course, most recently, uh, Austin Nola coming to New Orleans to be part of the Zephyrs team. Uh, the old concept of good glove but needs to find a way to hit comes to mind. No doubt he can catch. They've moved him to second base at times in double-A, trying to make him a utility-type player, which I think he really is if he has any chance to make it to the next level. But what a great kid, and it's great to have him as part of the Zephyrs. Yeah, get a chance to finally see him at home on Saturday night when Iowa comes to town for a 4th of July series. But uh, you know, th there was a lot of discussion out there in the uh, in uniform circles about – Here's a guy who's going to get to wear his name on the front of his jersey and on the back of his jersey, but uh, never at the same time because, as someone pointed out, the, the Zephyr's blue uniforms, they don't have the names on the back. So when they wear the white jerseys at home, he'll have his name on the back. When they wear the blue jerseys at home, he'll have his name on the front. So there you have it. A lot of, a lot of fun with words. We simply need to put sports above it. Yeah, exactly. That <laughs> makes perfect sense. There you go. All right, all good. JT Curtis. National Football Hall of Fame uh, on the high school level and the convention taking place in New Orleans. You can watch the video and read a little piece I wrote about it at sportsnola.com. Bottom line is that this is richly deserved, and it represents a man who is still involved. A lot of the honorees are big names who aren't involved anymore per se, but it encompasses officials, players, coaches, uh, even a debate specialist. So a little bit of everything. Bottom line is this is a richly deserved award. The debate specialist, you would have been. You, you should go in for that, and we need to nominate you for the Hall of Fame. <laughs> um, no, but J this is certainly well deserving. And JT joins a select group of uh, Louisiana greats who have been in the Hall. And, and let me let me say this: the way the National High School Hall of Fame works is different than. Many of the others that you and I have been involved with over over the years, directly or indirectly, and that schools have to nominate these people. If you're you're at a school out there and you've got somebody who's deserving, 
you know, nominate your people. You know, we, you and I were talking the other day. Greg Procell from Ebarb, the, the leading scorer in the history of high school basketball in America, is not a member of this Hall of Fame. So, I mean, there are there are clearly some holes out there, and that is why. And also the news from this past week, Blake Dean uh, being elevated from interim head coach to permanent head coach of the baseball program at the University of New Orleans. You can watch the video at sportsnola.com and read Tony Forche Benson's story as well. And Blake Dean, he's a sound hire. He's an up-and-comer. He's a guy that people know in Louisiana. He has ties that bind. Perhaps he'll get a crumb or two that Palmineri will send his way. Plus, he has Florida ties, and Ron Maestri loves him. So I think this is a sound hire. I think that's the way I'd term it. Yeah, I agree. It's a, it is a sound hire. Uh, you know, and, and this program is is trying to, you know, grow in small steps. You know, and Ron Maestri in his two years, you know, did some things to get it back on the right track. But now you've got, you know, some young blood at the top. Uh, you you go from probably one of the the five oldest coaches in Division One baseball to probably now the maybe the youngest coach in Division One baseball uh, running this program. Well, it's going to be interesting to say the least. Of course, our high school football previews are up on the site, a new one every day. So check them out from all over the state of Louisiana as we get you ready for the high school football season, which isn't too far away. Neither is the entire football season. So check it out at sportsnola.com on a daily basis. Let me have a great 4th of July weekend. Okay, and uh, be careful with those fireworks out there, folks. Yeah, and just remember, in certain municipalities, they're not legal. In others, they are. It's the law. Thanks, Lenny. Have a great weekend. We'll see you Monday. That's our First NBC Bank weekend preview brought to you by First NBC Bank with 35 locations throughout the Greater New Orleans area and also in the Florida Panhandle and beyond. That's First NBC Bank, proud sponsor of SportsNola.com. For Lenny, I'm Kenny. Happy Fourth of July, and God bless you.